and welcome by another video of the Arcad Saga. And today we are making another beautiful care collab, and it's going to about uh, going to be about this uh, this beauty, one of my favorite plants, Miltonia Sunset. And this is my spotted one, as you can see. I will talk about it uh, uh, over in this video a bit more why I think it's spotted, etc. But I have another one here in the left side corner. This is fairly new. I think I uh, bought it this around around the same time as uh, Nina did. I had no idea, but I came across one that really is for me the sunset as it should be. And not spotted, but very beautiful bright color. So I will take that one and my oldest one uh, into the orchid room and we will have a closer look at uh, both of them. But before I do that, I would like to mention the other participants for this uh, video. And we have quite a beautiful list. Uh, let's start with the first one. That's Fernanda Nascimento Orchids and Succulents. Then we have Todd's Tropicals, Rogers Orchids, Honeybees and Orchids, Stephen's Orchids, Plants and Other Things, Karen's Orchids, Mary G. Orchids, Hillbilly Orchids, and Ninja Orchids. So, so a little bit of breaking news, you guys, before we continue this video, because I had to add another grower to the list. And so I say welcome to Growing Orchids in Montana. Let's continue the care collab. So that's a beautiful list and I'm really going to check out those videos because I uh, cannot get, get enough of this plant. It's uh, absolutely one of my favorites. Miltonia Sunset. So let's take the plants and have a look inside of the greenhouse. So obviously I meant the orchid room and not the greenhouse. I apologize. But... Um, um, yeah, let's have a look at the plant. Well, at first, as uh, I want to mention why I call this a spotted one. Well, it's very obvious it has spots. And to be honest, at first, when it started to rebloom, I thought, oh, I have, it's, it has a disease. And uh, I have this one for about four years. I wasn't uh, as good as, uh, as I am now with plants. I, uh, there's always something to learn, but I now recognize it a little bit better because I first thought it was a botrytis or something uh, like that, but then I uh, luckily found out it isn't. But I must admit, the first spike it did cut off because I really thought this one was ill. So I always uh, start uh, laughing and smiling about it when I see those dots. Yeah, I, that's how we learn, I think. Anyhow, this is my spotted sunset. Um, I did email the seller back. I'm not happy with the seller. It's uh, most of the plants that I do get from them, or did get from them, I don't not buying any more from them, um, were, were sick. And I'm, I'm a bit afraid that this one isn't as happy as well. I will uh, show you why in a minute. But first of all, so I emailed them back, like, because I bought this one as a Goldale Moyer, uh, Miltonia Goldale Moyer. Uh, and I believe that's one of the parents of the sunset. And I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. I just I did look it up. But um, so I think it's a trace, those spots of that particular parent. It is a sunset, a spotted sunset. It, I think it shows the spots. It's technically not a very good plant because it, it shouldn't give uh, those spots, but those are there. And I think that's the reason uh, why this one has the blooms as it has. So it's not. It's just not a gold a golden moyer. It's a sunset, but a bit of a wrong one. But I like that. I like that uh, story. So I don't mind. I'm really happy with this plant. So don't get me wrong. So like I said, I have this plant for for quite a few years, and it's doing okay. But I think it could could have done done better. Well, first of all, what I noticed a few I think about two weeks back is this. I hope you can see it. I will otherwise try to zoom in a little bit. But yeah, I think you can see it. This bulb is starting uh, to shrivel and to uh, uh, yeah, get a very brown color to it. I check it. It's very firm. It's not soft. If it would be soft, it would be off already. I don't want any soft rot in... Oh, I'm sorry, my hand is in the way. Any soft rot uh, going inside of the pot, of course. But sometimes, naturally, they eat the bulbs, the older bulbs, so that's okay. But like I said, the older bulbs, this one produced, produced this new growth that has the spike. So this one is from last year. It's not that old. It actually has this bulb behind it being even older, but that one is fine. So that's a bit strange 
as well. And I see that this one is trying to make a new growth here, uh, where my finger is. I don't think you can see it, but it's uh, also producing a new growth. That's fine. But what also is strange is it has three growing directions. Beautiful. Nothing wrong with that. I'm really happy with that. But this is a fairly new uh, bulb and this. And can you see the size of those bulbs in comparing to the previous ones? This one has even some black spots on the bulb. So yeah, this plant is not happy. And I don't know why, actually. Well, uh, at least I have it for years, so... But I, I'm, I'm afraid that this one could be having fusarium, something like that. So my plan is, I'm letting it uh, bloom and then I will uh, do a repot on it and I will uh, cut at least off one growing direction just to see what, um, how the horizon looks because this, it, there is something wrong with it. So let's get it out of the pot and have a look um, at the root system as far as we can, uh, can find them because this one has a fairly large part because it's quite a big plant so that's, that's going fine. Let me check, and um, yeah, we have roots, so that's okay. Let me see if I can adjust the camera a little bit. I'll be right back. So I did get the camera from the tripod because it's very hard for me to film because I have a lot of glare on my screen, so I cannot not see what I'm doing. So I think I will do it like this, but I think you can't. A beautiful general idea that this one has roots. Some of a little bit darker color, but I believe they are still alive, and especially these beautiful white ones. Nothing wrong with that. I'm going slowly going to turn it around. We have in here have you can see these are beautiful alive roots. I'm sorry for that noise. I cannot avoid it. But, and we have a few here and there, so yeah, I think the root-wise it's okay, it's beautiful, it's uh, working on a new set of roots that was to be expected with new bulbs, but still again, and I have this one for years, why do these bulbs get thinner instead of bigger? Yeah, that's for me a sign, if it has a good root system, it grows well, but it doesn't show it, N for me, at least nine out of ten times that this one is, is virus. It has a virus, sadly. So yeah, I'm going to give this a check up very, uh, very soon. But anyhow, lovely blooms. I really love the color. That yellow and pink is is beautiful. I really, really like it. But yeah, luckily I have found another one. And actually, this is the one, like I said in the intro. This one has the colors. And if I have a picture, I will show it to you now. The colors that, uh, for uh, how a sunset should look like, in my opinion. Beautiful, strong colors, bright colors, and that is uh, is how it uh, like I like I said should be. And you can already see, I think this this bulb is way bigger than the previous uh, bulbs of the other one. So that's a sign as well. This one is uh, working beautiful on this new growth, and has another one there. I see a lot of new roots. Like I said, this one isn't in my position for that long. I did repot it on the 8th of August into this setup. Um, I had it a little bit before that. I just sometimes I uh, wait or I don't have the time to do a repot, but uh, around that time it did come in this, uh, this setup, cell watering setup. And I like my pebbles on top and I like to have it in pumice. The other one was a bit of pumice and um, I think Lekka. Some Cintiq, so it's, uh, I like to mix it up, but that's because I have the media laying around. My preferred media is absolutely pumice, big or small. So let's have a look if you already see. Oh, yeah, this one has already beautiful roots. So let me lift this one. This one is doing very, very well. But so I hope you can. Uh, where's my camera? There they are. I'm sorry. There they are. It was a little bit annoying to find them. The good spot, but they, those are the least. Uh, and I see more. But this one uh, is beautiful, working on a new roof system and adapting to this system. As you can see, small uh, pumice in the uh, in on top and a bit bigger 
underneath it just to uh, get the holes covered underneath the pot. But uh, it's on pebbles and that's all for this one. I really uh, really like it and yeah I don't have any synthetic in it. Just to check it but uh, with the most of Miltonias if you have the small pumice you don't necessarily need uh, the synthetic as well. But this one is really really enjoying it. Uh, has new life in this pot I think so I'm happy, really really happy with that. And this is this is typically how they should grow. A sunset it shouldn't be that hard to grow. It really is a uh, vigorous plant, not that hard and, uh, and really uh, willing to grow. So in comparison to the other one, yeah, there's something wrong with this. But this one is luckily doing very, very well. So a little bit about the fertilizers. These three, they get uh, fairly regularly. Especially in the beginning, they do get that algamic, the seaweed, to get those roots going. And then I slow down on the, on the seaweed. You don't want to overdo uh, it because of the homo hormones. And then I switched uh, recently to rain mix. Beautiful uh, fertilizer. I really enjoy it. And I think my plants do as well. Um, because it's, uh, it's almost the same as the MSU. And it's a just a little bit easier for me to come by. This lid is not closed very well. That's not a good idea because uh, it soaks up the moisture from the air quite quite quickly. But uh, rain mix and uh, calmac. Calmac. They uh, the plants all need uh, the calcium, of course. But I like to uh, uh, use it from the Biobis, beautiful uh, beautiful uh, brand. And I really, really enjoy this one. I think they uptake it very easily. Calcium and magnesium. And uh, yeah, of course the rain mix. I also have a fertilizer video on my channel where I go over my brands more because I have qu quite a few of them that I like to use. And so I will link that if you are want to know more about it. But this one do get around in summer it depends, but it's uh, some, somewhere in yeah, from 80 to uh, 150 parts per million. And in winter it's around uh, somewhere between 30 to 80, I think. And that depends on the weather. If the weather is beautiful, warmer in winter, I dare you, they will grow a bit more so they can take a little bit more fertilizer. But I slow it down a little bit in winter in general because it's a bit cooler then. And in summer when I really see them coming back to life, um, yeah, I really, uh, when they work on two new growths, I really uh, don't stop fertilizing at all. And I must say, in my greenhouse and orchid room, they keep on growing. They slow a little bit down because of the cooler temperatures, but they don't, don't, they don't have a rest or anything because it's too cold. No, I keep it around 18 degrees at night because of my uh, grow them in water, so I don't want it to have to, uh, to be too cold. And yeah, during the day, it's somewhere between 20 degrees up to 30. And here in the orchid room, it stays around 25. And I have my Miltonia opsis, uh, for example, in the background. Those need a little bit uh, cooler temperatures, but these ones do like uh, warmer temperatures. They not necessarily need it, I think. The 25 would be uh, okay as well, but a little bit higher, I, I don't think they uh, really mind. As long uh, as they uh, if you keep watering them. They like to drink, is my experience. These guys, yeah, this one is fairly new, but this one I, I have to water, uh, refill the... the Reservoir most of the times twice a week. I have my water meters here So if this one drops and that happens most of like I said most of the times twice a week So it's really like to uh, to drink So yeah, that's uh, what I can say about the fertilizer and the lights and the temperatures And is that a, isn't that a beautiful sight? Those new roots popping out. It's so fantastic Really makes me smile. That's such a good sign but anyhow, we are back in the, in the greenhouse, and yeah, as you can see, they do get quite a little bit of uh, light. This is uh, southwest, I believe, and it's fairly filtered. They don't enjoy uh, direct sunlight, in my opinion, but quite some light. And uh, it's a bit of a dull day today, so they normally it's a little bit brighter here, but I think they are doing well, and uh, this one decided to make a, a flower spike so that's okay likewise um, yeah I think this is it for now thank you uh, for watching 
and if you didn't already have please consider subscribing to my channel that would be awesome and of course if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and uh, for now i uh, hope really hope to see you at one of my next videos bye bye